Hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Gal on a Budget. And this is Courtney and this is the car edition. The car edition. So yet again, I'm waiting to go pick up my kids from school. It is a wonderful day of rain and wind here in the good old state of North Carolina, Jacksonville. We're kind of getting those rain bands and tropical um, storm-like conditions from the Hurricane Irma. I am still praying for all the victims that recently just got impacted by that hurricane and you are still in my thoughts and prayers. Um, I have family that's in Florida but they did leave um, but I do have a number of friends and associates that um, live in Florida and I am very thankful that they are doing great and hopefully that everyone else is doing great so you are in my thoughts and prayers. But I thought I would show you guys a little bit of what I got at the Dollar Tree ran in today just to show you guys um, a little bit of what I purchased. I kind of wanted to go into the Dollar Tree with a minimum of spending like $10 or less. And I thought I did a good, good job until I found one thing and I had to get like all of them. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get right in before I have to go get the kids and see if we can get this done within like five minutes or less. So hold on one second and we'll, I will be right back. All right, you guys. So some of this is just random. It's just things that I needed to get um, for projects that are upcoming. So stay tuned for that. Um, but one of the things that I needed to get, and I'm going to make a fall wreath, is I got just this deco um, mesh. And it's just this pretty, like, almost sunflower um, yellow color with little foil um, lines across of it. So I got this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I've got so many different ideas floating through my head you know just kind of wanted to pick this up just in case I needed it before they're all gone so I picked up one of those and then I picked up some of these in the nail care section I think I have them all yeah that's it all right and it's these nail color nail polish by Revlon do you guys see that Revlon now I have never seen this before and I'm not sure if you guys have let me know comment below and let me know if you've seen these nail polishes in your DTs but it just says nail Revlon perfumed lavender soap here and it's this really pretty can see it I know the Sun and stuff is kind of working but it's this really light purple color and it says that it's scented nail enamel so it's scented nail polish do you understand that scented nail polish so it's supposed to smell like lavender soap um, I'm not really gonna open it right this second you know what I might let me just open it real quick so this might not be a 10-minute minute video so it comes in this cute little um, bottle with this little black topper it is a 0.4 fluid ounce container of nail polish Ugh! I can't get it open I might not be smelling it either because I can't get the darn thing oh haha -ha, I got it open I had to use my shirt so it's a little brush it smells like nail polish I'm like sniffing nail polish. I'm pretty sure people are probably like, what is she doing? <laughs> She's going behind all nail polish. It really doesn't smell like lavender. It smells like alcohol. I'm not sure about that. But it was a Revlon brand name, if you can see. And I had to pick it up. I've never seen it before. I did go on Google and search to see if these were... Um, in another type of department store like your drug stores and stuff um, and I did find them I like you can get them at like Walgreens or like CVS and they like were six six bucks six bucks for some fingernail polish I was like oh my gosh so if that's true if you can normally purchase those for six bucks that's like a great deal I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more of them for some giveaways um, items to give you guys and then I picked up um, this one here. 
it's this pretty lovely like fall color it has glitter in it as well and it's called autumn spice now I'm gonna try and see if I can see if this smells like nail polish or alcohol too or if it actually smells like it's supposed to it all they all smell like alcohol so I don't think that's I don't think that's what it's supposed to smell like if you know what I mean I think it's supposed to smell because it said scented nail enamel but anyways this is really beautiful autumn color I feel like you know it's got some browns and glitters of gold and yellow um, I do have another one I know now that I think about it and I think it's called I've got here we go I'm not gonna take this one out it's called a espresso and it's like a black color like a black black um, blackish brown color so I picked that up just to kind of give it a whirl now I went on the hair care aisle and all of a sudden I realized that I should have put this into a different bag because now I've got it all over the place and now it's gonna be all over my car it's talking about glitter and this has been on my wish list y'all and I found it and I would literally have glitter all over me All right, so I had to like get some of the glitter off and now it's like all over my hand, if you can see from the other product that I bought at the Dollar Tree. But it's the Salon Graphics Professional Volume Hairspray Firmal Holds. It's the number nine. And it's a 10 ounce can of hairspray, um, new with carotene in it. I have seen these at my local, um, grocery stores and at my CVS and Walmart and they range between five to six bucks so that is a definite score if you can find that at your local Dollar Tree no lie like six bucks to a dollar I'll take the dollar any day you know <laughs> so I got two of them because I will probably um, be testing that out to see exactly if it does do really really good on my hair or I will be giving one to my mom because she does like hairspray. Now, if you want to find out why I have so much glitter on my hand, is I bought these two and I should have put them in their own separate bag. Next time, anything that I get glitter, I will make sure that I put in its own separate bag. But I got these two little branches and it's going to get glitter all over the place. Like, no lie. I'm going to have glitter in here for days. This was probably a bad decision. But I got <laughs> these orange twigs here and... Um, I thought about I'm going to be putting this also in my autumn, fall um, reef. I couldn't get the word out, but um, I thought I'd be putting it in there. Um, I definitely know that there is a hack to get the glitter to stay on your product and not all over the place, and that is to use hairspray. So if that hairspray that I bought does not work out for my hair, it will work out for my crafts. All right, and I will go to a couple more things before I will go to the big shabam that I found in my local Dollar Tree that I know y'all have seen and that um, hopefully you have snagged them up. Um, I got this cute little, there's glitter on everything, y'all. Oh, it's this cute little uh, manicure set. It looks kind of like a toilet seat. <laughs> A really pretty toilet seat it's like got this um, teal and um, cream color design and it just zips up um, it comes with a nail clipper scissors tweezers and cuticle pusher and a nail file so I thought this would be cute in my purse or just throwing um, one into my car um, in case I need to get, um, you know, a snagged nail, a uh, hang nail, whatever it might be. I can never have too many fingernail clippers on my personal opinion because I seem to lose them like I lose dimes and pennies. And then I found this in the um, office supply section. It's the Pentel RSVP. I absolutely love these pens. For some reason, I just like the way that they they write. I like the way that my handwriting um, flows through the pen. So it's just two um, black pens, and then it comes with a free pen here, and this is just a purple. 
um, pen. It just says fine, 0.7 um, mm. Ink color is black for all of these, so this color um, pen here is not colored. It's just um, the outside of the pen that's colored. But you get three pens for a dollar, and it's a name brand. No lie, I love these pens. If I see any more of them, I'm going to snatch them all up because I like the way that they write. If you guys have a certain pen or something that you just absolutely love the way that it writes and the way that it makes your handwriting look because I feel like these pens do the job. Leave me a comment below if you do have a certain pen that you absolutely love and you just have to always buy them. Alright, and then I'm going to go into a couple, well it's not a couple, it's like six because like I said in the beginning of this video, I tried to go into the Dollar Tree and spend $10 or less. It was my challenge. I was like, I'm not going to spend I'm not going to spend money cuz you know, the Dollar Tree become become a problem. And absolutely is starting to on some aspects of like fall decor and everything like that. But it is about to get it is about to get. It is about to be Christmas time. Yes, I know. I said the word Christmas in about, you know, 3 months, 4 months. But when I find toys or things I know that my kids are into and I found them for a discounted price now so I don't have to fork out money later and I can spend it on other things that we possibly will need for the Christmas time or for a Christmas gift, I snag it up and I stockpile and I store all my stuff in a big box where my kids can't see it. And, of course, I know you guys have seen these in other previous videos from other wonderful people that have hauled it, but I found the Star Wars Hot Wheels die cast, die cast um, little, I guess, toys, figurines. They're supposed to be, um, like little finger things because this little part right here is what you do is you stick it on your finger and then you place the um, Hot Wheel Star Wars die cast on top and you kind of like zzz, like it's flying through you know the space or you can set them up and display them wherever so I saw these and I was like I gotta get every single one that they have of every single style of um, Hot Wheels so this one is the Rebel Gunship um, here if you can see it I know my glare is really bad I do apologize um, then we have I think that's Ray's speeder this is Ray's speeder here and we have first order star destroyer and we have in one star fighter this one's pretty cool I like this it's like yellow it's got a funky design their um, battleships and stuff on Star Wars are always really cool I think then we have Poe's X-wing fighter this one's black and first order TIE fighter this one's cool I know y'all have all seen this one in Star Wars movies if you do watch Star Wars or you do love Star Wars um, I know I do have watched all of them my son has started has started to get into Star Wars we just recently saw the last one not the rogue one but the one the Star Wars the one that this came from which is the Star Wars Force Awakens this is the um, movie title line that these are coming from and then the last one of course y'all gotta have that Millennium Falcon it's like Star Wars, you know, the shebang. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So within just buying the Star Wars items, that already ex almost exceeded my trying to do my $10 budget of going in there, spending $10, and that's it. You know what I mean? Um, but I will be hiding these in my little box and giving those all to my son or maybe some of his friends as Christmas gifts just stuff like that um, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here cuz I gotta go get my kids um, and we got to start all of our afternoon and I'm gonna have glitter on my hands and my body and my, my car for like days y'all it's gonna be a serious problem I don't know what I'm gonna do 
I don't even know why I decided to take that stupid branch out of my freaking car. <sighs> Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed my short Dollar Tree haul where I tried to stay under 10 bucks, but it didn't happen. I know um, next week I will be doing it and I will be challenging um, myself to do a $10 budget of only spending $10 at the DT and then I will get on and I will challenge you guys to do it because you know it's so hard because it's only a dollar and I know that there's so many great things that you can find but I hope that you guys are having a great day having a blessed day and make sure that you hit that thumbs up that you comment below anything that you saw or anything that you um you know would like to comment about whatever it might be it's a crazy de day here in you know this southern gal's life so i hope you guys um stay tuned to all the greatness that will be happening i promise you that and make sure that you love always and don't forget to hit that little subscribe button all right i'll talk to you guys later see you later bye